guys <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel i'm abdella elspeth philip and this is ask abdella where i answer the question that you send me on my instagram or on youtube i'm excited for today's question so let's just dive in <laughs> So the very first question is, what's your age? The your life inspires me so much. Thank you so much uh, for saying that. I am twenty seven year old, right? I think for next one month, uh, or a little over one month, April is my birthday. So till then, I'm twenty seven years old. Uh, next is hello, sis. Praise the Lord. Lots of love from Pakistan. Lots of love back to you. uh and everybody in pakistan you know what as a kid i used to always think like we read a lot about um india pakistan division in social science growing up and i was like i wish like i could go back to pakistan and going to pakistan was like very easy so yeah a lot of love to you you guys have a heart of us next question is is it good to marry a secret believer whereas all her families are non believers what should i do um i i feel like uh, i don't know what secret believer exactly term in your story lines but if she is a believer and you are a believer great to go but then if the family has not the same faith you just don't get married to a girl or a boy you also get married to the family and you sign up for a lot of things that comes along with it so if you are ready to sign up for those things and go through that then yes but according to biblically marrying a believer is right or wrong of course it's right i hope that helps Huh. Next day is when are you coming to delhi missing you so much i miss you too kumari i am coming I don't know when I'm coming, but hopefully I I need to come in twenty twenty three. Next question is ever face issue on skin color? I do want to know, and if yes, what was your reply? I don't know if what uh skin color issues, but if you think if you're just asking because I am dark skin and if I have ever faced racism, yes, I think growing up as a kid. I remember first to fourth or fifth standard, people used to call me kali hai and uh, dark skin. You're black. Not even dark skin. Kali hai means you're black and not black, and uh, you look like buffalo and all those stuff. But I I think for me the changing point was when I was in fifth grade and one of the evenings I was just reading my. Bible and going through Psalms and this verse just stood out to me, which I've read so many times before that as a kid. But that day, this verse that uh, you're fearfully and wonderfully made just just hit me on my face as a little girl, and I just realized uh, when God was making me, His hands were like fearful, and and in so uh, the next revelation to it that I received is in His fear, He didn't create something that is bad or something. that is not good to look at the very next word says that he made you fearfully and wonderfully in his fear he doesn't made you bad or wrong but he made you wonderful so i am uh, that was a changing point for me and i also realized from that time onwards when i started seeing myself beautiful i started loving my skin color the people around started uh, noticing a different people around started uh, loving me is like hey you're so beautiful i like the way you look you have chocolate skin and your smile and all that stuff uh i think it it the, the change doesn't need to be always outside uh, outside in but it needs to be inside out so yeah that's what helped me as a kid uh next question when are you planning to have kids uh, when are you planning kids to have uh oh, kids to have <laughs> I don't know not not right now not telling you <laughs> but not right now um next is how to find joy in daily lives when constantly you are reminded of your problems one or the other way uh i think um there's this bible verse that says where's your treasure is that there there is there where your heart follows so when you said that 
your focus is on other things rather than things of god and co- godly things i think that is something that hindering you constantly if problems are something that you thinking of constantly i i would want you to change your mindset and constantly think of the goodness of god think of what god says and what the word of god says about you that joy is your portion that's what the word says that our crying may endure for a night but hope and joy comes in the morning but the endurance through the night is not something that you're doing by your own self jesus is with you doing that so i feel like just the awareness of constantly filling yourself with the word of god is what you need to do just speak over yourself and your mind and your body and your soul what the word of god and what god speaks over you don't receive anything that you think that jesus won't speak over you i hope that helps okay next question uh what was the first question that you asked your husband asked you after knowing that you would become his wife okay and it Our parents fixed our marriage on uh, 10th August 2020 and then on 12th August 2021 we went uh, 2020 we went on a date so i guess from our parents fixing our marriage maybe on was on 10th maybe 11th he asked can we go on a date tomorrow that's that's what i think would have happened would be the first question How did you meet your husband? Uh, I met him through common friends. Uh we just uh happened to know a lot of mutual friends. Um uh, I pray your prayer routine please. I don't think prayer is a routine or uh, something that you have to like check the box today aaj ka prayer ho gaya. That's something I believe personally. It's not something I say. I I'm more that I'm more than that. I believe that prayer is a lifestyle. Something that you daily do. For me, that is more than uh, just asking something from the Lord. It's more than having con- conversation with the Lord. That I do from the moment I wake up, even when my eyes open, the first thing that I say is, "Good morning, Ishu Papa." and till the end of the night where me and my husband we pray and we sleep but then that's just not the part there is throughout the day i'm having constant conversation with god so i feel like a uh, prayer is sh- is or should not be a routine but a lifestyle next question <laughs> couple of things how god spoke and what made you sure to do it uh so god is a creative god and he has created us to be creatives the very first aspect of god that we see in the word of god is in the beginning uh god created the creation part of god and creative a- aspect of god was the first aspect that we see and that's how god have created us because the word says you're made in the image of god so we are meant to be creatives So I I am glad that uh Jesus have blessed me with crazy ideas sometimes I'm just blown away for the things that I get to do I am just amazed by it so I got the idea I just knew I had to do it reached out to uh, people I love and just uh just started it How to get rid of this is the next question <laughs> how to get rid of negative thoughts and overthinking I'm disturbed by some people um if you're disturbed by some people do you think that they are really worth sticking around or being around sometimes uh cutting off some people cutting off a uh, few things is necessary even when it's hurting because it's not helping you grow see if you plant if you are a gardener or if you have a plant in your tree uh in your plant in your tree it seems <laughs> plant in your house once the few leaves turn yellow you have to pluck those leaf and throw it away just because once upon a time that leaf was green doesn't mean that you it still needs to be stuck to the plant no if you just let that be in the plant it will spoil the other leaves and spoil the whole growth of the plant so sometimes few things and few people need to be plucked away for you to nurture you to prune and grow what god has called you to be so you won't be clouded with negative thoughts and negative people i hope that helps okay 
Next, Akka, what, what you do when you feel low inside when things are not going well? Uh, something that I do, I feel it. I am not somebody who would uh, just brush it off and not feel it. That's that's. I, I feel like that is wrong. That you have to be twenty four seven happy and you just don't can't feel sadness. Sadness is an emotion that God has instilled in us. We cry. We feel it. So whenever those thoughts or uh, I feel sad about something, I just feel it. I cry. But what I don't do is dwell on it. I will cry. I will sleep, and I will be over it uh most most of the times i don't even cry and just sleep over it and i'm done with it the sleep heals i i can guarantee sleep heals so many things guys uh so for me that is what i do i feel it i process it i deal with it if it's needed or i just sleep on it and just that's how i do it next question is uh hi how are you uh, the i'm so good daniel how are you it's so good to hear from you i hope you're doing good god bless you uh next question is why so adorable because jesus had made me in his own image and made you in his own image so you are beloved and you are loved too so the second last question is please don't mind have you ever thought i don't mind that's why i just <laughs> opened this chance for you to ask the question have you ever thought and feared about your complexion no like i mentioned it it's similar to the question that we addressed in the beginning of uh today's uh ask abdella is that till fourth grade yes i i felt bad because i was bullied in school because of my uh complexion verbally bullied but i think when i got the awareness of how god have created me that changed everything for me have i bothered of pimple or something coming on my face of course i have uh, but not of my color cuz look at me how just how just how beautiful god have made me but um for me something else that uh, has not bothered me because it happens with me at some certain times that my color of my face changes uh so some days like i don't become like fair fair but then some days i'm like really dark tone or brown tones like extreme brown tones and sometimes i get very light uh brown tones so that skin has been like i've noticed that growing up in pictures and in on days seeing myself in the mirror that it does happen very naturally i don't know which day i look like which color you will see but then yeah the, it's a slight difference because it's my skin that's why i know it but no i have never never i am grateful to god and i pray that i remain this way uh till the end of uh, my life people have said things to me even after that but it never got to me um i remember recently when i went to kerala my grandma is like who oh, you become so dark and i was like when was i fair amuchi so yeah <laughs> it keeps coming but it doesn't bother me because i am just secure of how beautiful god has made me so i think that's all you need to know next question oh also we are on to our last question for this month's ask abdella calling ch online church your church and not attending physical church is right is it right what do you think about it okay um so see the whole thing of online church see whole concept of church is about community it's about people coming together when uh, after after jesus uh, uh went was crucified raised up and went to the heaven and people gathered in, in upper rooms and small places people gathered the gathering of people is what church is um, church is not about the building church is not about the tv or watching it in, online it's a gathering of people uh and community that is what church is according to me and watching church online was a phase that the whole of earth went through during pandemic because the reason because a scenario was made around that we could not connect with each other physically that's why we were at our home and we used the media form in the fullest and doing uh 
online church and will all should online church go around i think you should only attend an online church if you are already part of it physically and on days that you are sick and you couldn't go to church okay you can turn on your tv and watch uh, the live or if you are part of this local church and you travel somewhere outside the state outside the city uh, you can watch and be plugged to, still be plugged to your uh, church but it is definitely not a lifestyle that uh, you just turn on a tv and just say that i'm a member of this church you can be member of hillsong to td jakes church to any churches that's that and here i'm not saying you won't hear the great word and you won't hear the great uh worship but it's not church it's not community because church is community being accountable to somebody and growing in community see exposing yourself at times if needed and be seeing how community boosts you up and lifts you up so yeah i would this is what i think and i would th i would say that please get plugged to a local church that is near you uh no church is perfect having said that i will also say this no church is perfect so don't search for the perfect church wherever you feel like uh your spirit is growing wherever you feel like if you're plugged in you're getting the fruit of it and people are displaying jesus that's where you need to be planted and i have spoke a lot about it because this is something close to my heart so thank you for asking that question having said all that we're done with today's ask of della i hope you're having a great uh month so far i'm excited uh for the days that god has for you you are loved you're beloved um doesn't matter what skin color you are doesn't matter what what people think of you what matters is what god speaks about you and god speaks about you uh lovely god calls you his beloved i hope you have a great day night morning whenever you're watching this god bless you i love you bye bye